Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Bald Metal Nerd coming at you with um, another video. And uh, I know I'm a little late on this topic, but I thought I'd weigh in on it uh, anyway. Um, if you read the title, you already know what this is about. Um, with the recently announced um, Google Pixel 2, uh, there's you know, the trend is accelerating in uh, smartphones, at least on the high end, for uh, the headphone jack to be not included. You know, the good old standard, you know, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. That's starting to not be a thing on high end smartphones. Um, I think we largely have the iPhone to thank slash blame for this. Uh, because before the iPhone 7, you know, officially debuted, uh, I think it was known for six or seven months, you know, with leaks and all that, that the iPhone 7 was not going to have a headphone jack. So, you know, other idiotic phone manufacturers are falling all over each other to omit the headphone jack, uh. Motorola, I know, put out some phones first without the headphone jack on it, um, and probably a few others. I'm sorry, I, I don't have a full list, but I know the iPhone 7 wasn't the first to omit it, but I think because of them, the other phone manufacturers are like, well, Apple's not going to do it, so us first, us first, fuck the headphone jack, we're taking it out, right? I think that's really you know, what it boiled down to. Uh, basically, these idiotic manufacturers chasing after Apple. And ironically, when the original Google Pixel uh, was announced, um, um, they actually, in their announcement video, they kind of poked fun at Apple for removing the headphone jack, right? And they, they, they made a little bit of fun of it, okay? So now... Let's fast forward to a year later, right? Here we are, and the Google Pixel is not is omitting the headphone jack, and um, the justifications for it, uh, in my opinion, is just who, a bit of company hubris, and I don't see good reason for it. Um, basically, they said that uh, the whole reason they are omitting the headphone jack is it is their design goal to basically remove the bezel from the screen of the phone, um, I guess, and make it thinner, right? Uh, you know, if that's a reason to take away the headphone jack, I, I guess I just don't get it. Um, I mean, if that's the state of smartphone innovation nowadays, that's a pretty fucking sad state. Removing a port for slight cosmetic reasons. A universal great port for slight cosmetic reasons. I can't say that I'm shocked, just more disgusted uh, by this than anything else. And, um, you know, it's not like removing the headphone jack has resulted in awesome benefits for smartphones. It hasn't, okay? Um, it's just really just because, right? Uh, some people make the argument, well, you can make the phones waterproof. Well, there were waterproof phones that still had the headphone jack, right? Uh, and Google now said in their, you know, when they were asked, pressed on it, they were like, well, now there are more phones on the market that don't have the headphone jack. It's all because these idiots are chasing after a, a, a very user-hostile and, frankly, stupid decision that Apple made. So now all these other idiotic manufacturers are chasing after it. Um, you know, thankfully, at least on the Android side, you have a lot of choice. So more than likely, at least for the foreseeable future, um, assuming that not every idiotic manufacturer falls in these footsteps, hopefully for an extremely long time to come, you'll still be able to get Android phones with head jacks built into them. Um, I do know that Google and is trying also to push phones that don't support micro SD expansion, uh, which is 
stupid, uh, but that's something that they don't, you know, I mean, obviously supported in the operating system, but their phones, you know, they're pushing hardware wise often don't have that. So, um, it's baffling to me why on their reference phones, they would omit such, uh, you know, user friendly features. They're definitely trying to be more Apple like on that side. Uh, and that's, you know, kind of the dichotomy with Apple. Your choices, if you want to buy an iPhone, well, you can either buy a used iPhone or an iPhone or a new iPhone that's a couple of generations old if you want a headphone jack. If you want a micro SD expansion, well, you better not buy an iPhone because it just isn't available, right? Um, and you're, you're stuck with that, right? And, and people who buy iPhones have kind of, you know, locked themselves into that. They, they know what they're getting, right? Um, you know, a friend of mine that I work with, uh, he has an iPhone and he had, has currently has an iPhone six and he did not buy an iPhone seven, uh, because he had hoped that the iPhone eight would have a headphone jack because he uses his all the time. Right. And the iPhone seven, or I'm sorry, the iPhone, now that the iPhone eight of course has been announced and officially does not have a headphone jack. He is going to buy an iPhone 8 at some point um, because the reason he hasn't wants to switch in over to Android, and honestly, I agree with his statement, is he spent a fair amount of money in the uh, I, you know, iOS, iTunes ecosystem, right? So he's, for lack of a better term, kind of locked into Apple. It would be uh, kind of a pain in the rear for him to switch over to Android. And I get that, you know, if you get bogged down in a system, it is, you know, sometimes easier just to stick with the existing system so you don't have to go through all the pain of, you know, switching to something new. So I kind of get that. I, I understand his reasons why he's not switching uh, to Android. But, you know, that's that's how it goes, right? Um, you know, so at some point he will buy an iPhone 8. Uh, but back to the Android side, it's just to me very strange that, you know, the reference hardware is trying to remove this stuff, but thankfully since Android is a open system that, you know, any handset manufacturer can use, and since there's so much competition in the Android space, it's unlikely uh, that headphone jacks will disappear from smartphones entirely anytime soon. Anyway, um, now let's talk about, you know, uh, the argument that I know I'm going to hear. Uh, against me, like, you're just an old man who's behind the times, and we should abandon the headphone jack. Okay. All right. I'm fine with abandoning old technology when it makes sense, okay? Uh, you know, there have been plenty of examples in my lifetime of technology that has gone by the wayside for new and improved, okay? Okay. Uh, obviously, you know, we're going to go with some pretty obvious examples. We're going to go VHS to DVD and then do DVD to Blu-ray, right? There were obvious improvements, you know, from one to the other to the other, okay? It's not like, uh, I expect, you know, in 2017 for new movies to come out on VHS. That's patently ridiculous, obviously, you know, um... So obviously that's a big improvement that's happened. Um, I would say in a lot of ways, you know, smartphones uh, are a huge improvement over, you know, dumb phones that they've largely replaced, right? Uh, for a lot of reasons. So it's not like I am opposed to new technology and I'm like, let's keep old stuff around forever. Of course not. If something that's actually better comes along, Let's do it. So, what have the wonderful tech giants decided is better for us than the standard 3.5 millimeter jack? Well, you know, one is Bluetooth audio. So, you're telling me that, you know, I'm, I'm going to show you guys the uh, procedure for hooking up a, you know, headphone with a 3.5 millimeter jack. So, we got this. Yes, there is a cord, right? We got this. We got the phone, right? So, 
get the phone, get the cord. Yeah, I know I'm doing this badly on camera, guys. It's hard, awkward to look and do this at the same time. Boom. Look at that. We've got headphone hooked up to the phone. It takes approximately one second to do the procedure. You got sound, right? Um, and fairly high quality sound, I might add. Okay? So, there's that. Now, let's compare that to Bluetooth. Right, so, one, you gotta, you know, hit the, hit the phone, then, okay, let's go into settings, oh, Bluetooth off, switch on Bluetooth, search for devices, oh, is my device on, okay, my device is on, boop, 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 boom, it's connected, okay, great, you know, and that's assuming it works smoothly, sometimes, you know, it won't connect, right? And then you're like, oh, crap, it won't connect. So then you got to, you know, take it off your, okay, unpair. Okay, let me put the device back into pairing mode. Bloop. You know, repair. And you got to go through all that shit, right? You got to go through a lot of shit to get Bluetooth to work. It's not just a simple plug and it works, right? It, there's a lot of shit to it. Now, I'm not saying it's not convenient sometimes, it absolutely is. I use uh, Bluetooth fairly regularly on my phone. I definitely use it with my um, headphones that I use for doing chores. Because when I'm doing chores, I don't really want a cord. Because if I'm doing chores and I'm moving my head in funky ways or whatever, yeah, it'll, the cord will pull, off, pull out of the phone like... Pfft, Cord will pop out and then the music stops, right? And that's that's annoying. Nobody likes that, you know. Um, so I'm definitely happy that Bluetooth is an option for me, right? And I would not want to get rid of it. Never. I would. I wouldn't say, okay, let's get rid of Bluetooth. That's ridiculous as well. Um, but definitely, there's a lot of times that I still use the wired connection, and I don't think. Frankly, it's anywhere close to being obsolete yet. Um, the 3.5 millimeter jack is still supported on laptops and tablets and countless other devices. So, you know, let's say I'm I'm going with my headphones to work, right? And uh, instead of you know uh, listening to my smartphone, I want to listen to my laptop. Boom! I just plug into my laptop, right? I plug from the phone, plug these into the laptop, then I'm listening to the laptop. You know, so no Bluetooth pairing or any of that shit. Uh, not only that, but the other big downside, there are other two other big downsides to Bluetooth devices. One is Bluetooth headphones are another, another yet another thing you have to charge, right? They, have, they take batteries, so it's like, great, now instead of just charging my phone, I have to worry about charging my phone and these fucking pair of headphones, right? And if the batteries run out, well, shit. You know, uh, because... Honestly, I forget to, I remember to charge my phone a lot more often than I remember to charge headphones, right? So if those die, then, well, you got no music. Um, kind of sucks. Uh, secondly, <clears throat> uh, the sound quality, right? Um, I have yet to hear uh, Bluetooth sound as good as a wired connection. Even a crappy, well, not crappy, a cheap wired connection. Um... My Bluetooth headphones sound nowhere near as good as any of my wired headphones. Not even close. But then again, to be fair, I have a fairly cheap pair of Bluetooth headphones. I don't have an expensive one. Those might sound better. But the ones I have don't sound that great. But I have hooked via Bluetooth uh, my phone up to uh, pretty high quality speakers, uh, you know, in stores, right? Just to try them out. And honestly... It always sounds kind of shitty, no matter what. But if I plug it into the aux input on the speaker, it sounds a million times better. Uh, same thing on my home stereo. I have a Bluetooth receiver uh, hooked up to, um, you know, my stereo upstairs for fun. You know, if I want to stream Bluetooth to it, and it sounds a lot worse than any wired connection into my stereo. So again. We got another thing to charge and shittier audio, significantly shittier audio quality, right? So, yes, Bluetooth is a thing. 
but is it totally ready to replace the 3.5 millimeter jack? No, it's not. Um, you know, it, it's it's not a it's not yet really a replacement in all situations like they're trying to sell it as. Uh, it's in my opinion too premature for that. Um, far too premature for that. Anyway, um, you know, I'd really like to hear in the comments below what you guys think. If you think I'm just an old man hanging on to the past, or uh, if you agree with me, whatever. If you think it's a good idea to remove this, the headphone jack, bad idea. Will you ever buy a, a phone without a headphone jack? As for me, for the foreseeable future, uh, I can honestly say I will not buy a phone without a headphone jack. I don't know what point that won't be an important feature to me, but I, I think it'll be a while. So anyway, that's it. Uh, if, as always, if you like this, thumbs up. If you hate me, thumbs down. Share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.